Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is your Town Hall 9 Stoned Hobo Attack Strategy. Basically, the two to three golems can be either one pretty much uh, kill squad based attack where you send in the golems, the bowlers, the heroes, uh, then some hogs for the back end. So a lot of you guys, in nothing against you, but maybe just kind of deploying the kill squad, trying to get like the queen and some defenses, then deploying the hogs on the backside and just calling it a day. But there's really a lot more uh, nuanced bits to this attack. I'm going to be going through kind of what bases to look for to do this attack on how to plan for it and how to execute it because there are a lot of details um, but the two main things I want you to think about as we start this attack by Jay Munez the two things that are really important for this attack strategy one get the expos and the queen um, and two go get them in a way that your kill squad doesn't get flanked and you can protect your kill squad with your hogs so that being said, I will explain it much more as we go through the next three attacks. This first one, one of the best Town Hall 9 uh, Stone Hobo examples um, in terms of technical uh, deployment, planning, all that stuff that I've seen in quite a while, actually. Um, fresh hit, all three of these are fresh hits, so not um, even knowing where the traps or the CC, all that stuff uh, makes it better uh, still. So this one coming in creating a wide funnel and the first thing I said about flanking you want to make your entry so that your kill squad's not going to get flanked that's why you see super wide uh, funnels being created now at Town Hall 9 on these uh, stoned hobo attacks it's not just for the bowlers of course it definitely helps with the bowl bowler funneling um, it helps with funneling of all your troops but um, beyond that it's making it so they're not going to be flanked once they enter the base you can see um, that he gets the defenses in this compartment right here gotta pause real quick um, and besides that the cannon can't reach uh, his place of entry and there's these buildings are all non-defensive they're not going to do anything to his ground troops so he has nothing over there on this side that storage isn't going to do much the archer tower is still kind of hitting it head-on there's nothing out here so really the flanks which is a, a term for the sides of where your kill squad's coming in the stuff that your kill squad is missing to uh, going like between if that makes sense the uh, the flanks I don't know how else to say it um, they're protected so everything uh, this tanking is out in front the bowlers the queen don't take much damage uh, they go through like the base in a straight line that little dead zone kind of weird double wall right there really helps segment things off and take a look how he sends his hogs in to reinforce his kill squad that's how you want to send the hogs in um, if that's the third uh, point I want to make in addition to the first two send your hogs in in a fashion so they support your kill squad so as soon as your kill squad engages part of the base your hogs also get sent to that part um, not initially of course um, but once your kill squad gets relatively deep in the base once they start tanking defenses they probably can't reach that's when your hogs have to go in that way you get the value of the tanking uh, so you don't have to deal with the defenses twice you take advantage of the tanking that your kill squad provides and send your hogs in so that was one of the best attacks I think uh, I've seen in a while for this Town Hall 9 Stone Hobo, but let's take a look at a few others that are also very good. Going up to number 20 here, um, Living Pro, another good example. Uh, remember, you want to get the Expos taken out, and the reason you want to get the Expos taken out is because, and taking out with your Kill Squad, not your Hogs, is because they have a lot of hit points. It's a lot for Hogs to deal with. They often have giant bombs around them. They often have spring traps around them, and they typically are kind of in these island-type compartments, or at least separated from most other uh, archer towers, wizard towers, cannons, teslas, those kind of defenses. And for that reason, it's not easy to heal over them because your heal spell won't cover a lot of other defenses besides the expo. So really, they're a very in every way possible, pretty much. They're a negative for hogs to have to take out. You want it. Uh, you want your kill squad to take them out. You saw in the first attack the uh, the kill squad got the expos and the queen. Once again, going in here to get both the expos and get deep enough to get the queen. So when you're planning out what base you want to hit with this strategy, you want to look for can I get both expos, maybe at least one, preferably both. Um, can I get both expos 
and the queen taken out in a kill squad from an angle where there's not going to be flanks. And if there are going to be flanks like there is at the bottom here, you can see um, there wasn't much up here that was going to flank because the queen got this expo. There's kind of a buffer as his kill squad came in this area. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot above them to flank them. But at the bottom there was, there was a cannon here that just went down. There was a few defenses. And that's when you want to send in your hogs because if a flank does present itself, hopefully not a huge one because that's what you want to eliminate in planning. You want to send in your hogs on any flanks that appear during the attack, um, preferably while troops are still tanking. If it, they already kill your kill squad, it defeats the purpose. You're too late. You want to, to uh, engage the flank with your hogs while your troops are still up. Notice how he deploys a group up top to protect his queen. Um, when you're deploying your hogs, it's not just, you know, drop them on the defenses on the back end. You slowly start to drop them in, taking out defenses one at a time as they engage your kill squad, as they're being tanked by the golems, the golemites, the king, whatever is being targeted, um, take advantage of that because you'll be protecting your kill squad and getting free defenses taken out that are already being engaged by something else. You can overwhelm them rather than deploying your hogs on a defense that's not being engaged and allowing the base to operate at its full uh, DPS potential. Okay, let's make uh, let's move on. And take a look at one more attack here, number uh, twenty six. I think we can hop all the way down. Um, nope, that was the one we just took a look at. Um, twenty five. Yeah, Iceman. This one had one small hiccup, but besides that, very well planned out attack. Uh, drops in a baby dragon. Uh, gets the uh, Tesla actually taken out for free right there. Worked out nicely. Um, wait for his other troops to come in. This one was a good try, uh, but couldn't quite get that trade. It was tough with the air defense right there, um, the queen there, and then the archer tower there. Probably would have needed two balloons, and because that archer tower is up, his king actually does walk. But besides that, um, the planning was good, and uh, he still gets pretty solid value and gets what he wanted to get taken out. Taken out. So uh, here are the poisons. A little bit late on these poisons. Need to get them down much, much sooner because there's so much value. There's the skeletons, both heroes, the CC troops, um, and you kind of drop them off to the left. Didn't get the king or anything. So kind of a panic poison, but uh, not that big of a deal. So here comes the queen. Uh, it drops the king in, but unfortunately the king does not go into the base right there. Um, I guess the jump wasn't down quick enough. The golem does come back. Um, so he's coming through and take a look. He got the queen. Now he's going for one of the expos. It's difficult to get the queen and all in both expos because the, uh, those three, um, the, the, the two expos and the queen are kind of in a triangle around the base. So we'd kind of have to take out the entire base in order to get all three of them. Um, so he settles for one expo, which is fine. Notice how he sends in a few hogs here just to help out what's already being tanked. Um, the expo does peel off onto one of those hogs. But um, for the most part, he's deploying them in a way to protect his queen right here. I think he might miss the ability. I can't remember. No, he gets the ability, but the queen does die, unfortunately. No way he can really get to that expo quick enough to take it out before the queen gets shot down. But... Um, He's deploying the hogs in the bottom, protecting his king. Then here's the main group. You know, at a certain point in time, you gotta say, "All right, I'm going for it." Especially when you have a heal spell. Um, once again, notice how there's the giant bombs. There's the high HP expo. Not a good thing to have to deal with. Now he does um, fight through it and deal with one of them. But typically, people are going to put their giant bombs next to their expos, and that's a good strategy defensive-wise. Um, not a bad thing for sure. But you want to uh, to try to overcome that and avoid it by um, by getting those expos taken out with your kill squad. That's something that's not really talked about, and I want to make a big point of it because I think you should definitely keep it in mind as you're attacking. Uh, think to yourself, um, just to kind of summarize here, um, if you're looking at a base at Town Hall 9 and you're considering doing a hobo, takes somewhat, you know, it takes a little bit of instinct. Is this a good base for it? But um, once you start considering it, ask yourself, can I come in a, a way that I get at least one, preferably two expos, and the queen taken out, and can I come at an angle where I get those, and I'm not going to be flanked. My kill squad's not going to be flanked. Maybe it means you have to create a bigger funnel. Maybe you have to come at a different angle, but try to make it so your kill squad's not going to be flanked, because when it is being flanked, when there's defenses um, kind of surrounding it, that's when your bowlers get targeted, that's when your queen gets targeted, and that's when your troops can kind of get drawn off to different directions. So uh, make it so they have one straight path to go, and there's only defenses in front of them for the most part. 
once your troops do start to get flanked because it might eventually happen as you get deeper in the base or once they just get targeted by defenses in general deeper in the base that's when you start with your hogs um, because you want to start targeting defenses as they're already being distracted that way you get some good value there some tanking uh, for free basically from troops that are already there and uh, that way your hogs won't get targeted initially and then eventually if you have a heal spell and enough hogs send in your main group get whatever the last stronghold of the base is but keep in mind um, your hogs their main purpose at least initially is to protect the kill squad keep them up by taking out defense that are targeting them it's a win-win and yeah hope that video helped uh thanks for watching let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you guys in my next video bisectatron out